Hi guys, welcome to Oasis Time Planning. My name is Sean and I will be going through some topics about investment properties. And hopefully you will be able to learn a thing or two from this video. So today, the main topic will be on how to buy properties with development potential without paying a premium price. Now this is a topic that requires a little bit of understanding in planning and development processes. But I'll try to explain it in the simplest way possible. Now, I'm sure that many of you who are in the property market right now and are looking at investment properties or people that used to be in the property market have gone through the same process. The process of spending week after week on realestate.com looking at properties, going for endless inspections to make sure that the property is okay, and investing countless weekends in hope to purchase an investment property that will make you some money. Other than price and affordability, the decisions on whether to investment or whether to invest into a property will be based on property location, rental yield, and obviously convenience. Well, today, I'd like you to int or I'd like to introduce a method of searching for investment property that might be familiar to some of you, and this method could potentially change your life. This method can be very exciting and very rewarding if done properly. Now I'm sure sometime while you're on realestate.com you will see some properties sitting on a large piece of land. It could be acres or even hectares being marketed for a few million dollars or a large sum of money. The reason being that many of these properties have development potential that is worth lots of money in value that can be similar to that of the asking price. This property for example, a rectangular shaped property on Underwood Road can actually be subdivided into 17 individual lots like this and each new lot can potentially be sold at hundreds and thousands of dollars now assuming that each new lot is three hundred thousand dollars then if you multiply that amount by 17 this development is worth five million and one hundred thousand dollars just for the land now that's a lot of money. Here I have another example, a property that has a potential for an even bigger development. As you can see from the drafting, this property can be developed into 77 townhouses that is comprised of a mixture of two and three storey units. As great, marvelous and majestic as these properties can be, Many of them share a common trait when found on realestate.com, which is most of them are marketed as a development site. And thus the asking price will reflect the intended purpose of the property. In these cases, would be residential development. Yep, right there. However, well, some of you are aware that even smaller properties may have development potential, but in reality, many people have not a slightest idea that what and which property have development potential. And the best thing is, many of these properties with development potential that is marketed online are actually marketed as a home and not a development site. And your goal is to find out which one and buy at a price that you think you'll be satisfied with. Let's look at this property for example. This property is sitting on a land that is only 642 square meter, but it can actually be split into two lots around 322 square meter each, like this. And this particular subdivision has recently been approved by council. Here I have another example of a property sitting on a small lot that has a development potential. 
this property, as you can see, is a corner block, and the aerial photo also shows that there's construction happening at the moment. Now, referring to the draft plan, this 905 square meter corner block has been split into lot A and B. Lot A being 480 square meters and lot B being 425 square meters. Lot A is the lot where the house with the red roof is sitting on, while lot B is the one where you can see the construction is happening. Now, the best thing is, comparing with the previous example, this property does not need demolition of the original house, while the previous property needed, which adds a lot of value for this development. My point is, if you'll be spending hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions, on investment property, wouldn't you agree that purchasing a property with development potential is more profitable than a property without development potential? So the next question would be, how do you find out the development potential of a property? Well, the answer is not so simple. There are whole heaps of processes that you need to understand before you can start to analyze properties for development potential. But in a nutshell, the bare minimum would be that you need to understand and able to interpret the fundamentals of planning and design which includes zoning, local plans, shape size and dimensions, overlays, environmental constraints and infrastructure. Only by analyzing all this information as a whole and adding a few more rules and processes that one may be able to understand and assess a property for development potential. In summary, what you will need is the ability to thoroughly and accurately interpret the state and local planning instruments. Now, once you have mastered the skill, you will gain the ability to analyze any property for development potential on the market. And with enough practice, you can get through pages and pages of properties on the market within a short amount of time. And getting through page by page will only get easier until you hit a complex site. But let's leave that for another discussion. So once you've done that, you'll look like this. Now that we are all excited about learning how to analyze development potential, it is also important to be aware of the risk. If the analysis was insufficient and inaccurate, now you can imagine how things can go sour if it was done wrongly. Well, the most common mistake that people who are inexperienced will do is misinterpretation of the planning instruments. Sometimes, what they perceive to be correct in understanding actually turn out differently. And by misinterpreting the planning instruments, it could result in an inaccurate or incomplete analysis. Now, if you believe that your analysis is indeed correct, when in reality it is not, you will believe that the property will have a development potential when again, in reality, it does not. And that chain of thought can then be potentially lead investors into purchasing a property which they think is a golden egg. But again, it is not. And after purchasing the, prop purchasing the property, as time goes by, and the investors want to get a development application done on the property that they bought with excitement and joy, they found out that the property can't be developed. Well, that would be a very bad result for the investors in two ways. The first one was, the first one is, the investors did not get what they wanted for the property. They wanted the property to be developed, but it can't. The second point is that, the investors will probably lose confidence and that might hinder them from buying properties with development potential again in the future. So to avoid that from happening, I believe that if you are to learn 
how to analyze properties for investment potential, for development potential, sorry, you will need to be guided and shown exactly how to conduct a proper and accurate analysis. So we at Oasis Town Planning has organized a highly structured workshop that will show you how to properly and accurately analyze a property for development potential. This workshop will be uh, delivered by our company director, Jerome Fang, which has heaps of experience in both the public and private sector, and he will be able to show you the ropes and guide you through the whole entire process. The workshop will include contents that are fundamental to understanding the whole process in full, including details on the different laws and legislation that governs property development. It will also touch on prop important aspects of property development, such as the stages of IDAS, IDAS, the Integrated Development Assessment Systems. But the most important thing is, the workshop will provide you with hands-on practice on conducting your very own development potential assessment. So this means that we will show you a step-by-step -step guide on interpreting the local planning instruments and applying the knowledge into the properties in which you will be interested in. We will be giving plenty of advice and tips when conducting the analysis and will also provide ongoing support for those who need help understanding the processes after the workshop. So for this amazing comprehensive workshop, it will be a single day workshop from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. It will generally be held on a Sunday, sometimes on a Saturday. We don't normally provide an exact date for the workshop, but we will conduct a workshop every couple of months. The workshop will be held at Michael's Orientals at 8 Mile Plains. There will be plenty of free parking available, so you don't have to go through the hassle for finding car parks. Oh, and uh, complete, complimentary morning and afternoon tea will be served too for all participants. And as for the price, we used to have it at $5.99 per person, but for the remaining of the year, we will make it affordable for all at just $299 per person. So for just $299, you will gain a skill that can possibly change your life forever. You will be purchasing the right investment properties and even possibly make a good amount of profit if you choose to develop it yourself. And to show our commitment to your success, we will even throw in a bonus $299 development application credit voucher for all participants. That means that after you purchase a property and want to develop it down the track, you will get a $299 off the development application fees. So that's $299 per person to participate. And in return, you get a $299 voucher back. So that's basically a free workshop that packs a full bunch of essential skills and knowledge for you, for your needs, for your investment journey. However, you will need to act fast as workshop seats are limited and it will be served on a first come first serve basis. So if you would like to take control of this opportunity to gain a new perspective in your investment journey, please come to the workshop and we will show you how to do it. For detailed information, uh, you can insert your email address below and we will send you a copy of the information booklet. Or if you wish to speak to us, please call me on 0424125677 or you can email me at sean at oasistownplanning.com.au Thank you for your time in watching this video. I hope you learned a thing about two, a thing or two about development properties, and I hope to see you at the workshop soon.